since closing the hatches between the yes, uh, Soyuz craft and the Rosviet module to which it is currently docked. They accomplished a series of leak checks between uh, on either side. Uh, before entering the craft, they were able to say a final farewell to the three uh, astronauts and cosmonauts that will remain on board the International Space Station. Uh, here you can see them beginning to uh, egress into their docked Soyuz vehicle. Uh, all of the crew currently inside of the Rosviet module right here. You can see NASA astronaut Dr. Tom Marshford now moving in. Uh, the man he's moving past uh, in the striped shirt there is uh, Pavel Vinogradov, a Russian cosmonaut who is remaining on board and will continue uh, his stint as commander of Expedition 36, having taken over command of the International Space Station yesterday from departing commander, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield. Now giving a final goodbye there and climbing in, you can see Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko. He will be in the center seat uh, of the descent module throughout the flight this evening, uh, in charge of all the Soyuz systems uh, throughout the flight. Uh, he is the uh, TMA-07M commander. Uh, you will hear him referred to as Parus, uh, his call sign, Parus being the Russian word for sail. Uh, he is currently conversing with the uh, flight control team in Koryov, Russia, in the Russian MCC, or Mission Control Center. And following that hatch closure, again, they conducted a series of leak checks on either side of the hatch, uh, both in the Rosviet side, with Vinogradov remaining on board the station, and Romanenko conducting those checks from the Soyuz side inside of the orbital module. There you can see the hatch being closed between the two, that the hatch uh, on the Soyuz craft. Three astronauts loading into the uh, Soyuz craft, departing after spending 144 days on board the International Space Station. The crew arriving in that craft after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome back in December. By the time they land a little bit later tonight, they'll have spent 146 days total in space. Uh, each of these astronauts uh, racking up um, a good deal of time after this long-duration expedition. Uh, amongst them, uh, Soyuz Commander Romanenko clocking in at 334 days after this evening. Uh, as he had previously flown on a long-duration space flight during Expeditions 20 and 21. Uh, meanwhile, uh, departing Expedition 35 Commander Chris Hadfield will be at a total of 166 days in space, a uh, veteran of three space flights now, his two previous uh, stints on board uh, space shuttles during STS-74 and STS-100. And finally, Tom Marshburn will be clocking in at 162 days in space, a veteran of two missions now, this Expedition 34-35, and also STS-127. Send him by for physical separation in 35 seconds. Okay. Well, now I can copy you loud and clear. We'll select depot. Okay, separation confirmed. Timer is on. And separation confirmed at 6.08 p.m. Central Time while the station and Soyuz craft fly about 257 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Well, good luck. I'm looking at guess one to confirm, combine, confirm. I can uh, have a visual of the target. We are backing off. Well, so far it's peace and quiet. In 20 seconds, I'll be ready for A9. Stand by. Uh, that would be in order. Oh, okay. Okay, that would be in order. Yes, I can see it. Say it again. Yes, depot selection will be done in order. Okay. Uh, but again, physical separation from the International Space Station confirmed. The station was at an altitude of 255 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Do that. Backing away at a rate of just a little over one tenth of a meter per second. Best of luck. Okay, guys. Bye. Uh, Depot will be firing for 15 seconds. Copy.
Roman, soft landing to you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Next in the timeline, the Soyuz craft will be executing a 15 second burn of two of its engines, enabling it to further separate away from the International Space Station. Depot of fire and for back off. Okay, so confirmed everything is nominal and we're standing by. Close out ops for page uh, 90 inaudible will be done on your go, copy. So the Soyuz continuing to open up the gap of distance between it and the International Space Station. Yeah. That undocking again coming successfully at 6.08 p.m. Central Time while the station was flying just about 255 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. <laughs> Separation burn was completed successfully, firing two of the Soyuz engines just three minutes later at 6.11. The Soyuz will continue to uh, open the gap between itself and the International Space Station uh, over the next few hours, eventually uh, getting to a distance of about 12 kilometers away or just under seven and a half miles. Seeing the Russian Mi-8 helicopters circling the landing zone in preparation. The ground in sight. You can see the parachute coming down and the plume coming up from the soft landing engines. An unofficial landing time now at 9.31 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the three former Expedition 35 crew members returning to Earth. And there we have uh, Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko of the Russian Space Agency already been extracted from the craft. Even the suit is clean. Okay. Right leg. Slowly, slowly. Okay, pull him. Okay. Okay, turn him over. There we go. Second crew member out of the Soyuz craft, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Still remaining on board, uh, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. I stay with this. The astronauts will be carried over to these seats where they can relax for a moment uh, as they're all extracted uh, before eventually being moved over to the uh, medical tent erected about 100 meters away uh, from the uh, landing zone. Once inside that medical tent, the crew will get their initial uh, medical exam. I can see some of the uh, another Russian Mi-8 helicopter just now touching down. Getting a few words there from Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko. Uh, you'll hear them comment on the weather quite a bit as the uh, weather in Kazakhstan can be uh, quite unpleasant uh, during certain times of the year. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted from the Soyuz craft. All three crew members now safely out. Okay, do we have everything here? Well, about our leave. 
We put this signature in the bed kit to the crew surgeon. Man, this is scary. Well, I watch me like a I'll carry it for you. Cool. Did you do this on the shuttle? Did you start moving your head around? Did you do that with our kids? Well, that's the thing. It's weird to do this. My head's over. Yeah, it's weird. How are you doing? Yes, uh, yeah. Boy, that was quite a ride home. Quite a song. Come on. Great little spaceship. We were laughing. It was a lot of fun. You may not go home on the same day.